Hi friends, Miss Helene here with this week's um, activity. Uh, this falls under the category of sensory and art because uh, you can use your hands and you can also paint with it. So we're gonna do oatmeal painting, but it's not just gonna be regular oatmeal. We're gonna add some colors to it, add a little spring to our quarantine life. Um, so you're going to need two thirds of a cup of oats, uncooked oats. It doesn't matter what type you use, I just use whatever we had in the cabinet. Um, a lot of people recommend baby oatmeal because it's finer, it's a little less clumpy. Um, so two thirds a cup of oats you're going to use, I use two fourths cup of water, I actually use a little bit less. You don't want it to be too watery, you don't want it to be too clumpy because like I said, eventually you're gonna end up painting with this so you don't want it to rip the paper, you don't want it to go through and you don't want it to be just too difficult. Um, so once you have your oatmeal and your water mixed together, you're going to separate it, whether that be in cups, bowls, plates, cupcake liners, egg cartons. Um, and then you're just going to color each section that you have. So I use green, yellow, and blue food dye. That's what I had in the cabinet. Um, since we're getting close to Easter and we're in spring, I know some of you might have pastel color food dyes. That could be fun too. Um, I don't have a paintbrush, but what I do have is a baster brush. So if you're gonna go the brush route, you can use really any type of brush, um, or you can use your hands and make this a finger painting activity. So let me show you. So what you're going to do, now you're going to take your paint, your oatmeal, I'm gonna use, actually end up using my hands, and then you're just gonna paint on the paper. Just like that and you can use all of your colors and the good thing about this is that it's made with food so you don't have to worry about your child putting in their mouth it's all edible have fun be safe